Welcome back everyone, I'm Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and yes, that was the introduction music for this playlist. You heard it correctly. Uh, most of you are gonna probably dislike it, but for some weird reason, I liked it when I was going through the jingles, and now you guys are stuck listening to it for the next nine videos. With that said, we are gonna build a super fun app here. This is a Swift UI map app. We're essentially going to take a bunch of real world sightseeing locations like the Coliseum, the Eiffel Tower, and then put them on a map and then create a really nice and beautiful UI around clicking those locations and then seeing some information and then learning more, uh, going to another screen where we can see full details on each of those locations. So if you've been following this channel, I have recently been doing a lot of intermediate and advanced level content. I will continue to do that, uh, but this app is going to be a beginner level course. And I'm doing it because I was looking at the analytics on this channel and a lot of the people that are watching my videos are still watching the SwiftUI Bootcamp playlist. And I think that's great. I mean, that's the original reason that I started this channel uh, to get people involved in Swift and SwiftUI. And I think that is the great place to start. But what I realized is after doing the whole SwiftUI bootcamp, there's not much content on the channel uh, to really just take all those beginner level skills and then put them into an app. So I have the SwiftUI to-do list beginner level app, uh, but that app's fairly limited. We really just created a navigation view and then we focused on some CRUD items in that app. So creating, reading, updating, deleting a data model is pretty much all we did in that app. So in this app, I've purposely structured it to kind of switch gears from that beginner app. So in this app, we're instead going to use sheets for the navigation. So we're not gonna use a navigation view. And then instead of focusing on creating and updating the data model, we are gonna focus on taking the data model that we have and then moving it around our app. And while we're doing that, we're gonna create some really nice professional looking animations and transitions in our app. And as it says in the title, yes, we are using MVVM, Model View, View Model Architecture for this app. MVVM just works so nicely with SwiftUI, uh, and you guys are gonna see why in this course. We're gonna use the View Model to basically keep everything in sync across our app. And because of that, all of our moving parts in this app are gonna be all in sync, and the feel of our app will be very professional. So before we actually get coding, I wanna just jump in and show you guys exactly what we we're gonna build. But before we even do that, I just wanna throw out there as a quick disclaimer for anyone who is clicking on this because they see Swift UI and Map, uh, we are going to be using the native Swift UI Map in this course. We are not going to use a UI kit map and then convert it into Swift UI. And I'm saying that on purpose because the UI kit map has a lot more features that the Swift UI map does not have right now. So if you're looking for a course where we're gonna do like directions, like Uber-like directions on a map, that is not what we're gonna do in this course. That is not natively supported in Swift UI at this time. So what we are gonna do is just take locations and then put them on the map and then move the map to those locations. All right, so with that said, I know we're gonna have a lot of fun building this app, but before we build it, let's take a look at what we're gonna build. All right, so I'm here on my computer and I have the app running on both an iPhone on the right here and then an iPad as well. And we can see that the iPhone is in light mode, the iPad is in dark mode. So as promised, we are going to adapt for light mode, for dark mode. We're gonna adapt for the iPad and then we'll also be able to uh, rotate the iPad so we could do it in landscape as well, which I think looks really nice. Uh, personally, I'm a fan of the dark mode theme, but I wanna show you guys that we are doing both. We're gonna build it out predominantly in light mode on the iPhone, and then we're gonna do all the adapting for dark mode and iPad in one of the final videos. So this is the main screen of the app. It is It has a map in the background, which users can move around. Uh, they can zoom in, all your typical map controls. We are gonna put a bunch of pins on the map. So these pins right here, as you can see, are these are custom pins that we're gonna actually build out. These are not pins that Apple gives us. Uh, and then we're gonna add a bunch of obviously cool effects onto this screen. So for starters, we can obviously click these different pins. So as we click through the pins, you'll notice that the name at the top is going to change. Uh, the map is going to animate to that pin. That pin is gonna get a little bit bigger. And then of course, the card at the bottom is gonna swipe in from the right side and then leave on the left side. So we got that nice animation at the bottom. And uh, one of my favorite parts of this app actually is this top bar here, which we're gonna use as our menu bar. So when we click on this, it pops down with this awesome menu, which is gonna have a list of all of the locations in our app. 
So right now there's only five locations, but you'll have the ability to then add more locations to this list. And this is obviously scrollable here, so you can add as many locations as you want. And you'll notice here as we click this menu, the menu obviously animates open and closed. We have this arrow animating. And when we click on one of these items in the menu, so let's go to maybe the Eiffel Tower, the whole entire map is going to go to the Eiffel Tower. We're going to get that at the bottom. And uh, obviously at the bottom, we have this nice big button that says learn more. So when we click that, we get this pop up. It's a sheet. And at the top of the sheet is going to be this page tab view where we can swipe between some images for this Eiffel Tower right now. We have some details on this location. We can read more on Wikipedia if we want to jump in, open up Safari. And we also have another map of this specific location at the bottom here. So I think this is a pretty nice UI. Uh, obviously users have the ability to swipe these sheets down. They also have the ability to click the X button. And they can also click this next button here if they want to just go to the next location. So as we go to these, you'll see that the animation is updating. Everything is staying in sync. And we can do all of that same cool stuff, of course, on our iPad. So full features on the iPad here. We have, we have the menu coming out of the top. We can click these icons. The, if we click learn more, the sheet's going to pop up. And it looks a little different on the iPad. But this is how sheets look on the iPad. And I think it's still going to be a pretty nice UI, even though it looks a little different. And we can click the next button, of course. And we can even do this in landscape as well, right? So we got the landscape iPad here. We got the menu coming down. We got the sheet popping up. Uh, all good stuff here. The really big things to point out here, obviously, I think this is a great UI. But uh, we're going to build all of this natively in Swift UI, and we're going to use really great MVVM architecture. This, as you can see, is the main screen of our app here. This is the most complicated screen that we have in our app. And if we jump into the code, this is the view for that screen. So that entire screen boils down to this little body section here. And I really want to stress this because as you learn Swift UI and you start building complex apps, it's really easy to, to end up with these really long, complicated body sections that are hard to read, hard to manage. And a big thing we're going to do in this app is not only build out a great app architecture, but also stay nice and neat and organized. So the most complicated screen on our app, and this is the entire body right here. So this is obviously highly readable. It's very easy to share with other developers. We can see that there's a map layer on the background. There's a header at the top and probably some kind of locations preview at the bottom. And then there's a segue with the sheet. So it's really not a difficult code here, but we are doing it in a very efficient manner. And you can also see on the left navigator here that we're going to stay nice and organized. We have MVVM, so models in our models folder, views in our views folder, and we tie it all together with our view models in our view models folder here. We're also going to add a quick data service class that is going to be some pre-made data that I have for you guys to just add to this app. Uh, and then you'll be able to add more data, more locations if you'd like to. So overall, I think it's a really fun project to build. And the end result, I think the UI came out really nicely. All right, guys, that's it for this intro. I hope this was enough to get you guys hooked to actually build this course. Again, this is going to be a beginner course, so we're not going to do anything too crazy. But we are going to focus a lot of our time on building out this MVVM and then also making sure that all of these animations are working perfectly, right? Because when we click these buttons, it is pretty crucial for this app that the title changes, the map changes, the pin animates, the bottom animates, and that all has to be done in sync. So we're going to do all of that basically through our nice and handy view model. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you are excited. I definitely am. And if you are at all interested in building this app, I will see you in the next video.